guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be doing a hair tutorial kind of thing. I'm going to be curling my hair without using any heat so if you would like to see how I achieve that, keep on watching. So my hair is freshly washed, it's kind of getting dry so I do have my spray bottle here. I'm going to spritz it with some water and then I'm going to be using these to curl my hair and along with some products I'm going to be using the Diva Curl Styling Cream and the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. First, I'm just going to spritz my hair with some water. All over. I got these curling rods from Sally's. I don't remember how much they were, but they were not expensive. So I'm just gonna, my hair's like soaking wet, which I like it, but I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. That's what I prefer to do. You can part your hair any way you like it, but I just wanted to do the middle. And before I style my hair, I comb my hair with a wide tooth comb to make sure my hair is free of tangles. And in this video, I'm gonna be styling my hair with Diva Curl products. I'm gonna be using the Diva Curl um, styling cream and also I'll be using the Diva Curl light defining gel. I'm using these two products because I know they work best for me when um, I'm trying to style my hair and I want my hair to be defined and frizz free. So I'm going to be working with medium sized pieces since I have 10 rods and I'm just going to apply the product in my hair, rake it in from root to end and then I'm going to place the rod at the root of my hair and I'm going to wrap my hair from the back to the front as you can see and then I'm just going to bend the rod so my hair is secured. So literally that's the routine for this video. I just um, apply the product, rake it in and then I brush it with my Demon brush to make sure all the hair is in, all the product is in my hair and then I go ahead and place the rod. I noticed it did take me a couple tries to get it right but I noticed when you place the rod at the root of your hair and you wrap it around, it sticks to your roots and that's what you want. You want it to be tight at the roots. So exactly like how I'm doing is the easiest way because at the end, if it's loose, you can still wrap it towards your hair, towards the root of your hair and make it tighter if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Also, I did do the other side of my hair off camera just because that was the part that I struggled with the most and... It was the part that I learned how to do it. Like I literally learned in one day how to do this and it took a lot of trial and error, but I noticed the easiest way is to wrap my hair from the back to the front and you're gonna get the results that you want. And when you're doing rod sets, you can do smaller pieces for more curls and I'm doing medium pieces. So I know I'm gonna be having um, bigger and looser curls. If you apply a lot of product like I do, I do recommend leaving your hair air dry for about 24 hours just so that your hair is fully dried because you do not want your hair to be wet. The curls will not come out nice. Hey guys, I'm back and this is how I went to sleep with my hair. And I let it air dry overnight because I didn't want to apply heat to my hair. I wanted this to be like a no heat styler. So I'm just going to take my cap off and I'm hoping my hair is fully dried because it hasn't been a full day yet and I did put a lot of product in my hair and I'm going to the gym so I don't want to go like this. Yesterday I stepped out with my hair like this with a cap and everyone was just staring at me so I'm like, but so I'm just going to go, I think I'm going to start in the back. I'm just going to open up the rod and unravel it the opposite way 
and I'm gonna, just going to do that only there. Look how cute these look. So my hair does feel dry and I'm happy about that. So I like my hair to be um, very big and voluminous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and separate each curl, but you guys know I love separating my curls with my growth oil. So I'm gonna apply a couple drops, <coughs> rub it in and go ahead and separate You would get different results if you had if you used more um, rods, but since I only had ten, I used I did bigger pieces. So look at this side versus this side, totally different. And there my curls are all separated and I really love how spirally it looks so you know my favorite part is picking my hair for that volume so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do Wow, look how bigger it is. I 
I really love this look. And I could even have my bangs out if I want. I just look at that beautiful so you can just play with it to your liking I really love this look and you can have different hairstyles with it My hair is so fluffy. I think I would like something like this with the bangs out. But for now, I'm gonna leave it out and rock it like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the outcome of my curls. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.